I picked this uh, MacBook up off the internet. Um, it's your kind of old style white MacBook. I think this one was built in about 2008, 2009. Um, and I got it for basically nothing because it didn't work. The uh, buy that was selling it had posted up that it, when you opened it up and you press the power button here, all that would happen would be the little light here would come on and blink, but nothing else would happen. Um, and he had given up on the laptop and decided just to get rid of it. So I went and picked the thing up and brought it home and I'm gonna show you how to fix a MacBook that has that problem where you hit this power up button, this little light comes on, nothing else happens. No Apple ding, no sound, nothing on the screen, just blank. Uh, all you're gonna to need to fix is a little screwdriver and a quarter. First thing to do is if your laptop is plugged in, obviously unplug it, we're gonna close it, flip her over. Um, you can get the battery out real simple. Just take your quarter, quarter turn, and the battery pops out. Uh, now you need to get to the memory. Memory is really easily accessible on these. On some of the newer ones, everything's kind of sealed up. You gotta take the whole back off. On this one, all you have to do is take off the battery. You have a screwdriver and you have three screws here, here, and here. There's an entire plate here that comes off. So this plate comes off, get that guy out of the way. Um, in the case of this laptop, what was wrong with it was one of the two memory sticks was bad. Memory is very easy to remove on these. With these little levers right here, all you do is pull the lever and it releases the memory and you can wiggle that guy out. So there's your memory stick. Once you take one of them out, most of the time, every one of these I've had has had two memory sticks in it. Once you take one of these out, button the whole thing back up and fire it back up, see if it starts. You actually don't even have to button the whole thing back up. You can just flip it over, plug the thing in without the battery and see if it fires up. If it still does the same thing, put that memory stick back in, pull out your other one and fire it back up. Chance starts just your memory. That was what the case was in this computer. Um, one of the memory sticks was bad. Um, then throw out that memory stick, go get a new one. Um, or if it'll run on just the one stick, you're good to go. And uh, you've got yourself a running laptop again. All right, let's button this guy back up. You get yourself a working computer. While we're talking about this laptop, I want to give a little cautionary tale to people that are getting rid of their electronics. Um, in the case of this guy, he figured it doesn't start, so all my data on it's secure, right? Because nobody can get at it, the computer doesn't start. Wrong. First, I fixed it, so the computer booted right up, all his information was there. Um, it was password protected, but as we all know, you can get around passwords, especially on these. Very easy to do, um, but say I couldn't even get it to boot up. Let me show you something. The hard drive is right here. Apple gives you this little handy dandy pull tab, and out comes the hard drive. This little thing's got all his data on it, everything. Um, and all I need to do now is come in with something like this, plug it in, plug this in, and it becomes an external hard drive, and I can pull any data off it I want. Um, so please, 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 if you're going to sell a computer on Craigslist or anywhere, um, make sure that you either remove the hard drive and keep it, or if you're going to format it, make sure you do a thorough formatting, not just the basic formatting. Do one of the ones where it rewrites several times over your data to make sure your data is good and gone. Because even if you think you formatted it, um, there are software packages out there like Recover and a couple other ones that will get deleted data back. So make sure that if you are selling hardware on Craigslist or to anybody, make sure that your data is gone. I mean, you figure on this little hard drive right here, you've got photos, passwords, bank records, documents, who knows what, all sorts of private information. Um, in this guy's case, he's lucky he gave it to somebody that was, uh, that was upstanding. And as soon as I got into the computer, I formatted the thing and got rid of all his data and did a clean, clean uh, install on this guy. Um, but 
what if I wasn't that person? Um, all of his data is now out there, all of his photos, all of his passwords, bank records, taxes, who knows what could have been on this thing. I mean, I think of all the information on my computer and uh, wow, you know, it's scary. If your operating system and on the new Macs, I know on a lot of the new PCs, Android, um, iOS, everything, they have options to encrypt everything on your hard drive. It does take a little bit of time to do the encryption, but it keeps your data a little bit safer.